financial market we all know that a market is a place where buyers and sellers come together to exchange something and financial market is the interface between a large number of buyers and sellers of the financial products in this lesson we will go through capital and money market the benefits of trading in commodity exchanges the commodity exchanges in india the participants in currency market after going through this presentation you should be able to explain the financial market and types discuss the money market and capital market define debt and equity market analyze the commodity market understand the currency market financial market is the interface between a large number of buyers and sellers of the financial products financial markets are where financial instruments or products are exchanged a financial market is known by a type of product traded in it a financial market can be defined as the market in which financial assets are created or transferred there are four types of markets first is the money market it's a wholesale debt market for low risk highly liquid short term instrument second is capital market it is designed to finance the long term investments third is the forex market it deals with multi currency requirements which are met by the exchange of currencies fourth is credit market it is a place where banks fis and nbfcs purvey short medium and long term loans to corporate and individuals money market provides a mechanism by which short term funds are lent out and borrowed money market can be of two types namely organized money market and unorganized money market organized money market comprises of commercial banks financial institutions and all short term asset trading institutions the main instruments of money markets are call or notice money call money is the money borrowed or lent on demand for a very short period treasury bill certificates of deposits and commercial papers cp cp is a note in evidence of the debt obligation of the issuer the capital market is the market for securities where companies and governments can raise long term funds it is a market in which money is lent for periods longer than a year the different types of financial instruments that are traded in the capital markets are shares equity instruments credit market instruments insurance instruments foreign exchange instruments hybrid instruments and derivative instruments debt market refers to the financial market where investors buy and sell debt securities mostly in the form of bonds Indian debt market can be classified into two categories. First is government securities market or GSEC market. It consists of central and state government securities. Second is bond market. It consists of financial institution bonds, corporate bonds and debentures and public sector unit bonds. Government securities public sector unit bonds and corporate securities are the instruments of debt market the indian equity market is more popularly known as the indian stock market the indian equity market has become the third biggest after china and hong kong in the asian region a stock exchange has been defined by the securities contract regulation act 1956 as an organization association or body of individuals established for regulating and controlling of securities the indian equity market depends on funding into equity from all over the world and corporate houses performance the stock market in india does business with two types of funds namely private equity fund and venture capital fund it also deals in transactions which are based on the two major indices first is bombay stock exchange bse and the second is national stock exchange of india limited nse a commodity exchange is a place where various commodities and derivatives are bought and sold 
Commodities exchanges usually trade on commodity futures. Benefits of trading in commodity exchange are hedging, speculations, arbitrage, shifting risk, etc. Hedging lessens risk since it involves the purchase or sale of a commodity with the intention of counterbalancing the profit or loss of another investment. Speculators are people who are prepared to bear risks in anticipation of earning profits. Arbitrage involves buying a commodity at a low price and instantly selling it for a higher price in another market. The risk has been transferred to the buyer of the contract. Speculators trade on commodities and derivatives by undertaking risks in order to maximize profits. Exchanges produce high volumes of data that are intensely scrutinized and monitored by a wide cross-section of people as data provides gainful insights about the prevailing economic conditions. MCX, NCDEX and NMCEIL are the major commodity exchanges. Currency trading takes place in foreign exchange market. The purpose of FX market is to facilitate trade and investment. The need for a foreign exchange market arises because of the presence of multifarious international currencies such as US dollar, pound sterling, etc. and the need for trading in such currencies. Exchange traded FX future contracts were introduced in 1972 at the Chicago Mercantile Exchange and are actively traded relative to most other future contracts. Foreign exchange trading has experienced spectacular growth in volume ever since currencies were allowed to float freely against each other. For foreign exchange, currency volatility is a prime factor in the growth of volume. Interest rate volatility, business internationalization, increasing of corporate interest, increasing of traders' sophistication and developments in telecommunications are the factors that are responsible for growth of volume in foreign exchange. Participants in currency market are retail customers, foreign exchange dealers, FE broker and central banks. Now let us check if we have understood the various concepts discussed in this lesson clearly. A financial market can be defined as the market in which financial assets are created or transferred. Right or wrong? Right. The forex market is one of the largest and most liquid financial markets in the world. Right or wrong? Right. Money market deals in short term and medium term transactions. Right or wrong? Wrong. Before we end, let us briefly revise what we have studied till so far. Financial markets are where financial instruments or products are exchanged. The market where investment funds like bonds, equities and mortgages are traded is known as the capital market. The primal role of the capital market is to channelize investments from investors who have surplus funds to the ones who are running a deficit. Money market is that segment of the financial market in which financial instruments with high liquidity and very short maturities are traded. Money market instruments consist of treasury bills, certificate of deposits, commercial papers, etc. Primary market is the place where new securities are traded. Flow broker execute orders for fellow members and receives a share brokerage commission charged by a commission broker to his or her constituent. Secondary market is the place where existing securities are traded. Call money market is the market in which brokers and dealers borrow money to satisfy their credit needs, either to finance their own inventory of securities or to cover their customers' margin account.